and thanks for joining us at EMII.com. I'm Caitlin Sisney with your Asset Management Report. Today is Friday, March 28, 2008. J.P. Morgan Worldwide Security Services will acquire the Institutional Global Custody Portfolio of Nordea, a leader in institutional global custody in the region. According to Global Investor, as part of the agreement, Nordea, which has 200 billion euros in assets under custody, will appoint J.P. Morgan as global custodian for its internal institutional clients, such as Nordea Funds and Nordea Life and Pensions. The acquisition will also enable J.P. Morgan WSS to offer local depository services to in-country mutual funds through the establishment of new branches in Denmark, Finland, and Norway, while building its existing presence in Sweden. The Nordic region, which has total assets under management in excess of 2 trillion euros, is one of the largest and fastest growing asset servicing markets in the world. Nordea will retain its sub-custody franchise in the region. Staying with asset management news, warnings about the possible demise of today's hedge fund industry are unfounded, says Paris-based data provider Risk Data. According to Global Investor, Risk Data was responding to a report in the Financial Times that questioned the future of hedge funds. In response, Risk Data said its research shows massive outperformance by hedge funds for more than 15 years. Leaving aside sophisticated analytics, Risk Data says, quote, simply consider the following math. The worst month for hedge funds was long-term capital management. The worst day for equity has been Black Monday. And in other asset management news, last week's International Monetary Fund announcement stating that it is developing best practice guidelines for sovereign wealth funds has received a muted response, according to International Financial Law Review. On March 21st, the IMF Executive Board approved further analysis on how sovereign wealth fits into the global economy. The main issues the IMF will look to develop best practices on are public governance, transparency, and accountability. But it is hard to see why the IMF is investing time in this area. The European Council recently met to approve the European Commission's plans for a voluntary code of conduct. Moreover, it is hard to see the U.S. government relying on them if sovereign wealth remains political. And in more asset management news, more wealthy individuals are turning to the Internet to make charitable donations. But many are upset with the types and frequencies of the emails, the Chronicle of Philanthropy reports. According to Foundation and Endowment Money Management, a survey showed four out of five wealthy donors have made a charitable gift online. Half said they prefer to make donations online, while 46% plan to make more of their gifts online within the next five years. However, 56% said charities send too many email messages. And that rounds out today's Asset Management Reports. Thanks for joining us on EMII.com. For more details on these stories and much more, click on our Asset Management channel online and read the latest of